Ah, hello. My name is Carl Ross of the University of Portsmouth in the United Kingdom. Today I'm going to talk about the torsion of circular section shafts. These are of enormous importance for ships, aircraft, boats, and even for motor cars. And the formula we're going to deal with is tau on R equals T on J equals G theta on L, where tau is the shear stress at a radius R, where T is the torque, where J is a torsional constant, or in the case of circular section shafts, is the polar second mode barrier, which is pi d to the fourth on 32. G is a rigidity modulus over the angle of twist theta, where the angle of twist theta is over the length L. This is the torsion of circular section shafts experiment. There we have a dial gauge which helps to measure the angle of twist over a length L. This is the computational equipment which helps to drive the shaft. So this is a zero angle of twist. We are now increasing the angle, the torque, to a value of 10 newton meters. And the dial gauge reads 22 at an angle, at a torque of 10 newton meters. At 20 newton meters, the dial gauge reads, reads 50. At a torque of 30 newton meters, the dial gauge reads 80 units. At 40 newton meters, the dial gauge reads 105 units. Now to get the angle of twist theta, you have to divide the dial gauge readings by 127. That comes out in radians. The length of the shaft is 127 millimeters and the diameter is 16 millimeters. And you have to calculate G.